there, everybody. We're ready for another round of New Day Hot Topics and extra thrilled to welcome this week's guest panelists. Longtime Seattle Afternoon Drive radio host Ron Upshaw and Don O'Neill are back and better than ever with a rockin' new podcast. Welcome back, you guys. Oh, thanks for having us. I've missed you. Well, we've missed being missed. So what's happening over here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're not. We, last time we were here, we were in a different studio. I know. And the audience was throwing rotten tomatoes at us. That's right. Which is what we're used to. We're used to rotten. To, this is too nice. It's just, well, yeah. we've, we've tried to just, you know, zhuzh it up a little okay. bit, as they say. And we only came because you guys just did the food segment, and we hear there's leftover like, over cauliflower, Always. and we love cauliflower, <laughs> right? There's also chips. Okay, I'll and have guacamole. Chips. I just wanted to make sure everybody was happy. Who gets to spin the wheel today? Is there's, it wrong? Gosh, there's no wheel. I feel like I'm just disappointing what you right we now. Come into? We're our, is this Margaret Larson? Is this King Five? Happening? Is this New Day or Old Wait, Day? What is going on about, here? Let's talk about you. Okay. So, so I was very glad when you guys came on the podcast. I'm very glad you started out with what the heck happened because I think I tweeted you immediately when this news came out. Like, what is this? This was so weird. You got disappeared off radio. Um, in a nutshell, what happened? Yeah. You know, our contract was up, and Cairo decided that they wanted to go in a different direction, and they own the Trestle Tower. So. Uh, so they've gone in that direction. And for us, it, BJ Shade told me something, and Margaret, I know that you believe this too. And of course, he's a great morning host on KSW. He said, you know what, guys, either something happens to you, and you can be a victim, mm -hmm. or it happens for you. True so that. we said, you know what, it's happened for us. And so we've entered the world of podcasting. And if people like to listen to us for the first time on podcast, and we appreciate you so much listening. I'm subscribing. Thank you. Uh, you can go to ronandon.com, right? Yeah, ronandon.com gets you there, and uh, you run all the podcast forms, so you can do, you know, iTunes or Google. There you guys are. We're showing it right yeah, there. So the, uh, super website. easy. You can wow. Sign up to keep more That's a, a good-looking guy. We are super yeah. handsome in that very picture. Handsome guys. And so, if you don't know, if you've never listened to a podcast before, just look for the little purple podcast emblem on yeah. your screen. Hit that. Search Ron and Don. They'll come right up, and you can subscribe. Okay. So you guys are two podcasts in. Um, from this week's podcast, you had a lot to say about various things. Beck, your whole show was hot topics, right? <laughs> it was hot topics. So we're just right. ripping off your topics here. Yeah. Zipper merging. You guys had a lot to say. Tell well, me. This is something that's fascinating to me. Washington State is one of three states that has officially adopted zipper merge from Germany. And Don and I got into this a lot because if you are the person Here's in, the diagram. Your, in your little leaf yes. or your uh, Prius and you go, <laughs> oh, I got to merge... And so I'm going to I'm going to stop in this lane and put my blinker on and totally stop all the cars. You're doing it wrong. You're no. supposed to stay in your lane as fast as you can go, which is not like 100 miles an hour, probably right. like 30 miles an hour, all the way to the front, and yes. then you go one at a time. Zip yes. or merge, zip yes. or merge. And, and it's 40% faster than what yes. we do in Washington. Exactly. Everybody sits in the left lane if it's the right people coming through, and then and then we get mad because we think they're coming around. And then us. the person no, on the right lane won't let the left lane merge because they think you're cutting. Yes. They're not cutting. Monica Zipper. from State Patrol is not around, is she? Because if she is, my dad's a truck driver. He also drove a fire truck. Best thing you can do is just blow by, don't signal, <laughs> scoot over, oh boom, God. you get off at Mercer. That's how I no, roll, I'm Margaret. sorry. You've got a signal. I'm a big fan of zipper merging and the courtesy wave. Okay. On these things, yes. Yes. civilization That's rests. So just give the courtesy wave, and if everybody on Washington State did the zipper merge, 40% faster. The yeah. Germans have figured it out. You have no argument from me. Extreme life coaching. This freaked me out. Tell me what extreme life coaching is. Uh, I read this story when, like, after when the radio show was done. I saw this story. I believe it's in Condé Nast Traveler about the, the biggest growing trend in travel. Because we both needed some extreme life <laughs> right, coaching. Extreme life coaching. <laughs> it's we both you like you're hanging in. Uh, right. People are spending a tremendous amount of money to go on a six-month to one-year curated trip around the world. And so they need, they have coaches and uh, extreme life coaching that happens. So someone might be burned out. Maybe they're a big mm -hmm. dot-com guy having a midlife crisis. They want to go have an experience. And so I was like, maybe I can do that. Like, I like to travel. I can uh, motivate like, people. This is, like, super expensive. Oh, it's, it's, it's around two hundred dollars to $300,000. Uh, but you get to do a, a specifically curated trip 
just for you. And so I wanted to be the guy on the other end, not paying the 200 grand. I wanted to be the guy I see. getting paid to, to yell at some example. I feel like I've got some projects for these people that would help, <laughs> yeah. you know, re Or you can wake up energy. at 5.45 in the morning, come to my spin class, yeah. and get rolling, well, and I blow like my whistle at you, and I yell and scream, and people love it for whatever oh, reason. That so. would be my worst coffee. nightmare. I would love Could to have it. Could we do it at 5.45 in the afternoon? I will be your worst nightmare. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. In fact, if you're coming, Margaret, we're going to start at 5.15 <laughs> we have, this Friday. Oh, man, I would be an addict. Attitude problem waiting to happen. Okay, so some other things you guys have talked about. Shoes, on or off in the house. Oh. These happen to be things I have strong feelings about. I have a house. I live in the basement. I ran out the top. Oh, People okay. walk around. I, I, have, you were I have four upstairs. signs out that say, please take your shoes yes. off. And then I hear clippity clop where people have their shoes on all the time. So now I have 10 signs yeah. out. And people mm. even have more shoes. It's like they're wearing shoes and then shoes on their head just to get me. <laughs> Just to spite me, Mark. Top, the drives me I put in earplugs, so everything. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me make sure I understand this. You've rented the top out. That's right. right. So yeah. they're paying to live there. It's called house hacking. And uh, another thing that Ron and I do, we're realtors. We work at Windermere Midtown, yes. right? But it's, once they've rented it, don't they have a right to do what they want in there? They do. They it's, absolutely right. do, and it okay. kills me. I and I want to go <laughs> knock on the door and say, take your shoes off, but I can't. Because Margaret Larson, you're right. You're absolutely right. And Ron says. I thought you were mad about your own house. No. This isn't no. even well, your own house. This yeah. applies. Don's a no but shoe guy. I am a shoe guy. Are you? Because there's a couple reasons. One, okay. many people have foot insecurities. They don't want to, their foot feet might stink. Maybe they're in a flip flop or something and they don't like the way their foot looks. We talked to Ann Bremner, who's on here a lot the other day. She's yes, on our I podcast. She said she has feet that are ugly and she doesn't want people there seeing her feet. There's nothing about Ann Bremner that is ugly. There's nothing. Right. It's Absolutely nothing. But she has a close But she has an insecurity about it, as Ron okay. said. And so, well, here's what I do I, I cut the middle ground. We have a bench in front of the front door. You come in and you see that our shoes are there. So, I mean, you know right. we take our Smart. shoes off. You're signaling. Now, we're signaling, <laughs> but right. we're not making a definite request. Okay. So, if people are quiet, they do, and if they don't want to, then that's fine too. Mm. Plus, there's a but you tiny, resent that. There's no, I don't. I'm oh. fine. I want them to be comfortable. Maybe they have a hole in their stocking. Maybe right. there's something that's See? bothering them. I want them to be comfortable. They're a guest. Yeah. But there's also a little bottle of lavender spray in case they just want to go. Psh, psh. Hmm. Wow. Do you think this is a good solution? I you really thought this out. I, didn't I know, have. I didn't know that people wore stockings anymore, though. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, are, are these stockings or is this a sock? Socks. Let socks. me show you something though. Does this sock match? I don't think it does. It doesn't. I don't know. And I would take these boots off and not be insecure about it. And I, I would walk around good. your house and I'd spray a little lavender on there. There you go. And eat some cauliflower. I would not be a judgy person. Thank Which you. one do you want I to do, Sue? I think you're passive aggressive on the uh, on the shoes. You want passive people, aggressive? You want people to take their shoes off. I want them to if they want to, <laughs> no, or if they're willing. You, if you they're need willing. to own it. You need to own it. You want them to take it off. I do want them to. I want them to. Did you bring Margaret her t-shirt? I did bring her oh, t-shirt. Yeah, I took it in the dressing room. Oh, I'm going to wear it for the next week Great straight. advertising, Margaret. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a TV host. I feel like, I feel like I've done this whole thing wrong. Believe we me, we did not want to wear matching shirts today. <laughs> Stop. I have to say this. Yes. We have linked more information on New Day's homepage about Ron and Don's new podcast and other projects. I think I should be a guest soon, as well as links to the stories we discussed. Go give them a listen. I'm not passive aggressive. I'm really not. I'm still, a <laughs> <laughs> I can't go. Take off. your shoes off. Take them off. We'll be right back. I give up. Okay. <laughs>